Extra That's pretty bad you when your brother help notices uh, <laughs> notice his own brother uh, being involved in a lot of things. But you know, I do it because I enjoy. I enjoy what I do. You know, and if I can, if I can at least, uh, I was talking with um, Nell Anderson yesterday, uh, who is a veteran. He was he was one who uh, helped me put together. The Reach Across America committee meeting, him and John Sandine, and John Sandine has gone to be with the Lord some years ago now. But one thing I forgot to let Mac know that um, Nell Anderson shared with me yesterday, and uh, it's just like, well, uh, he said, he said to me, he says, you know, you're the face of the American Legion in this city. And I thought, wow. And I remember a long time ago when I was a Salvation Army officer working for uh, the drug and alcohol program. And I was only there for a short few months filling in. And uh, even the staff, they said to me, they said, you know, you're the true Salvation Army officer. You, you, you show the Jesus uh, to these people that no one has ever shown to these, these folks who are... Who are suffering through their addiction in drugs and alcohol. And in all the years that they, they've been, the staff there in, uh, at the uh, drug and alcohol facility in Phoenix, Arizona, they were the first to have, have ever shared with me saying that, you're the true Salvation Army officer that shows the Jesus inside you that these folks needed to see. And you know, I, and you know a lot of people don't get compliments like that. You know, it, it takes a lot to for someone to, you know, share that with anybody, you know, any one of us, you know, every one of us that, that, that even is a part of this, this breakfast group. We, we, are, we are the veterans that show to our community who we really are. And, uh, uh, and they're grateful that they've seen some of us out there doing what, uh, had been done probably in the past, but it's been kind of dropped by the wayside and, and now we're kind of uh, reviving it in, in some sort. And uh, hopefully even the, the next generation of veterans that they'll continue on doing what we're doing, educating our community and letting them know, you know, what we're all about. And let's integrate together and, and uh, work together. And uh, we never know that uh, there's a family out there that has <coughs> a loved one that's that's gone. And uh, just like this gold star mother, when I think of her, what what she's doing, she's keeping her son's name alive by what she's doing. And that's what we're doing here too. So thank you all for coming, and we'll see you on the. 28th, I think I put it on here, 26, 26. <laughs> here we go, I'm it's thinking 28 already, uh, and this will be our last, next month will be our last meeting until January, so we'll be doing uh, October, November, December's birthdays next month, so, so when think, does the new year begin, huh, when does the new year begin, on the 1st of January, thank you, <laughs> But what, what day of the week? I couldn't tell you. It's probably Thursday. 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 Is it Thursday? And is Christmas Eve still Christmas. the 24th? Christmas Eve still no. Thursday. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming. And uh, again, if uh, for next month, if you have anyone that you want a, a Thinking of You card made out, please let me know. And so I'll have those cards with me next month. All right.